What's up Sickle Cell Warriors? It's Dr. O and the grind never stops. Man, I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. Uh, today's topic, we're going to be talking about jaundice. And the reason why we're going to be talking about jaundice is because a subscriber actually asked about it and I was thinking that would be a great video topic to talk about. So specifically, we're going to be talking about three things in regards to jaundice. First, we're going to break down what is jaundice. Then the second thing we're going to do is talk about how sickle cell disease causes jaundice. And then the third thing we're gonna do is talk about what you can do to treat your jaundice. All right, sickle cell warriors, so let's get to the video. Uh, before I start talking about the science, like the medical aspects of jaundice, I wanna to explain to you my personal experience with jaundice. So recently I haven't really had jaundice, but when I was younger and I was constantly in the hospital, I did have jaundice and I had yellow eyes and uh, quite frankly, it was embarrassing to have. Every time I looked at myself, I felt gaunt, I felt weak, and I felt like, I didn't feel like myself. It was just kind of a reminder that I had sickle cell. So I know what it feels like to have jaundice and I don't wish it on anybody. So what is jaundice? Jaundice is caused by the buildup of bilirubin. And for those of you who don't know what bilirubin is, bilirubin is an orange yellow pigment that is in your blood cells that gets formed by the breakdown of hemoglobin. So all this activity is occurring in the liver. And if the liver can't process red blood cells efficiently, that's when jaundice occurs. So how does sickle cell cause jaundice? Okay, for those of you who don't know, jaundice is a common symptom of sickle cell. And essentially, because sickle cells die at a much faster rate than healthier cells, a lot of bilirubin starts to build up as a result and when a lot of bilirubin starts to build up that's when jaundice occurs so essentially jaundice is caused by the constant breakdown of sickle cell blood cells and because sickle cells die at a much faster rate i think it says that blood sickle cell blood cells on average have a lifespan of 20 days where i think the the healthy normal red blood cells have an average lifespan of 120 days that kind of shows how much faster sickle cell blood cells die die at a faster rate and so when the sickle cell blood cells die the liver the liver filters it out in addition to the death of the sickle cell some of us also may not have the strongest liver function in the past i've had gallstones and i know a lot of sickle cell warriors have uh, liver dysfunction and because our liver can't necessarily process the sickle cell red blood cells as efficiently as possible that can also cause a uh, buildup of bilirubin and hence cause jaundice so yeah quite frankly jaundice is not fun to have it's like it's, it's kind of weird having yellow eyes you know it's like what what why do my eyes look like this honestly it kind of makes you look like you're always high so i get it and i want to talk about what we can do to actually avoid getting jaundice and what we can do to treat it best way to avoid jaundice is to keep yourself healthy with sickle cell and so honestly having jaundice is just a sign that you're not treating your, your sickle cell correctly so in order to learn how to do that i have multiple videos where i talk about you know maintaining your health with sickle cell by drinking water taking hydroxyurea and i talk about so many different aspects to optimize the health of sickle cell and you can watch those videos on my channel another thing that you can do is that if you're in the hospital uh, what doctors often do is they provide regular blood transfusions so they can provide you with healthier blood cells that will prevent you from constantly building up bilirubin and having jaundice. The last thing you can do to avoid having jaundice is to maintain a very healthy liver. So you can eat red meat to, you know, increase your liver function. Uh, you can have a good balanced diet. You know, a good balanced diet will help you maintain your liver. So that includes, you know, a, a good portion of vegetables and fruits with some lean protein and some carbohydrates. And all of that will help you maintain a good balanced diet to have a good healthy liver. Another key thing you can do is to avoid alcohol. Alcohol plays a major role in damaging your liver. And so if you're a heavy drinker or you drink often during the weekends, 
please try to limit the amount of alcohol you're consuming in order to maintain a good healthy liver all right sickle cell warriors well that's it for today's video on jaundice thank you so much for watching if you have any other topics that you would like me to talk about please comment down down below and i'll be more than willing to talk about it uh, and again uh sickle cell warriors i've started a new thing where i am offering consultation services for free i'm doing them 1v1 via zoom if you really like to talk to me to learn more about sickle cell or if you're having some type of situation where you feel burdened by your sickle cell please go on the description down below and sign up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me anyway sickle warriors thank you so much for watching my videos and have a great day <laughs>